his family's name holds a prominent place in the history of local racing. Like his father and brother, he too is a trainer of thoroughbreds. Initially aspiring to be a jockey, he soon shifted his focus to becoming a trainer. Introducing Lorne Curlew, who shares his lifetime narrative with the QuickGallop.com team and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Curlew's story begins with his latest winner, Glittering Star. Looks as though we might be ready. They're off and racing, that's a good line. Rushing to, that's made a Sellington, right there too, that's Glittering Star. So Glittering Star goes to from a Sellington hustling up in the middle. That is a, she's alone right there to Veliki Vicky as they pass the five. Lady Ramdulari is scrambling around. Noisy lady right against the rail. Miss Linton comes next. Then comes a beautiful moon and Princess Delisi at the back of the field. But this one is fleet footed. It's Glittering Star about six lengths in front of a chasing in second. That's May Sellington. She's alone tucked in right against the rail. Three lengths away before we come to Lady Ramdalari recovering. That is a Veliki Vicky also coming on. That's beautiful moon. But this one still not messing around. Still has a six length lead. It is Glittering Star at the top of the lane. Chased by May Sellington, Glittering Star in front. May Sellington still staring at the back of Glittering Star, who looks to be full of run. Also coming on the outside, Veliki Vicky, Glittering Star, bringing them to the furlong pole. It's Glittering Star on a nice looking lead, about six or seven lengths. May Sellington begins to come forward. Glittering Star still has a good advantage. It's Glittering Star holding on from May Sellington. Glittering Star about five lengths in front. May Sellington is second. Got tight between Princess Talisi and. Uh, Veliki Vicky. It must have been a relief to you. Tell me about it. Oh, definitely. Um, it's been, you know, it's been first in a long while. Like I would say the first that takes a long to win a race for the year. You know, mm. but I, as, as, as racing hasn't been good to me for the past couple of years. It's getting worse and down more and more. But I, hanging on in there, hanging in, hanging in there. And obviously give thanks for this, this Yeah, one. man, give thanks. I have to give thanks to Mr. Hamilton for having the faith in me to you know, purchase this little filly. And having her is a joy because she, 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 she can run, she can run. Mm -hmm. I expected her to win the first time out, but the issues, the setbacks, and corrected it and she delivered. The name Curl is a big name in horse racing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, definitely, definitely. Strong family tradition. Tell us about it. Well, it started from dad. Dad um, used to be a butcher in the country, raising cow and donkey, and you know, he, 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 he liked it. Animal, he loved animals, so coming into talking, Kingston. We're talking about Mr. Dennis Curlew. Yeah, here. Dennis Curlew, yeah. Mm -hmm. He came into Kingston and meet, meet a, I believe, a trainer name. I don't remember the trainer. A long time trainer. And Clemenson. Mm -hmm. Yes, Clemenson. Harold Clemenson. Harold Clemenson. Mm -hmm. He was assistant to Harold Clemenson. And yeah, it all began there for uh, him. And we're talking about when was this? In the 70s. 70s. In mm -hmm. the 70s. And by. Get to, he, 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 he take me to the track in around 80, I saw the first derby I saw was, I think I was Royal that, in 81. 81. Yeah, mm -hmm. 81. And I, I like, I like what I saw, so, you know, but my first love was football though. Yeah. First love was football at the time, and, um, and, but football and my little racing, at, you know, my brothers them was assistant to my father. Uh, two brothers, Tony and Mark, mm -hmm. was assistant to the my father and they were more involved in racing more than me mm -hmm. but i like it i at first i like it the jockey part i wanted to be a jockey <laughs> but the first job changed my mind yeah tell and, us about that <laughs> <laughs> you know I was, I was small growing up mm -hmm. i was very small growing up but, you know and um i came you know, i used to came on a couple mornings with the guys and um walk the horses and you know, the first morning i was real up and flicked me over and, I said, no, sir. Not your, not no, your cup no, of tea? No, I'm afraid I don't want it. I want a hat. I don't jump your hat. <laughs> and my mother never liked the idea, neither. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother used to work at the tractor. She had her canteen, cook breakfast in the morning, and, you know. And, and, we, and Tony was no. also a, a Yeah, man, Tony, Tony was an assistant to Bert Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, and he, you know, come up in the rank, then he, he moved on to Richard, Richard Phillips as an assistant, and then he got the license with um, Eunice, them. Eunice, the war. That bunch, that that set of trainers, that bunch of trainers. He mm -hmm. got his license, and then 
you know. And Tony did well for himself. Yeah, man, Tony did well. Tony, Tony, Tony knew a lot. Trust me, I know a, I learned a lot from Tony. Tony used to cut a, a lot of things with horses, you mm -hmm. know. And your other brother is, is is now doing racing abroad. No, no, okay. he, he was, but he he, he had so he owned some horses. Okay. The horses I like, Lady Hastings, Miss Merkel Boy, Richie, he bought them mm -hmm. in Maryland. Okay. Most of them horses that Tony had, mm -hmm. my brother bought them in Maryland and okay. shipped them down. He, he has good ass size, so he mm -hmm. bought some mm -hmm. good buys. You know? What was schooling like for you, um, Lauren? At Meadowbrook. I was um, Meadowbrook High, well, Dunrow in primary, then Meadowbrook High, you know, football, football girls, <laughs> Meadowbrook High girls, so, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the um, academic part type, and it wasn't all that in that. I was, was having fun mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as, a, as a teenager, having fun with the football. I was a very decent footballer, not for the guys, not for the the girls and the guys at Meadowbrook praised me. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I could say I put Meadowbrook on the map in football. Cause from I, I reached Meadowbrook in '83. Uh, Meadowbrook name just start to develop. Didn't you football win Walker Cup? Yeah, win Walker Cup in '86. Mm -hmm. Got finals in maybe Pepsi and Colts. You know, mm -hmm. we did very well in, in the football world and. Leaving Meadowbrook now, I play football at Major League for a team here, Mid Forest. I, be, I did a little stint at Mar Valley. Uh, tell us, hmm, around that. But then uh, the, the, the race, sometimes I play in our football, playing games and, and race, 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 and race around, race yeah. around, and go up on the sideline and listen to the race. You know, uh, so when did you take racing seriously now, you know, um, in, uh, that is something you wanted to do? Well, when the football, no money, mm -hmm. you, could, no, you couldn't live off of football. football, you like couldn't that. live off of football. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the training and you know, you, when they don't play, you have nothing to get. You just love oh, why right. you, you, you play football back then, mm -hmm. you know. So I decided to, to get serious, cause everybody was cursing me, saying, well, you, well, you, you love racing and you know not want to train us. You could, could have got the license a long time before I did. Mm -hmm. But decided in 2010, 11, 7, well, go on, yeah, man. Let me just get the license and see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're assistant to? Tony. Tony. Yeah, man, assistant to Tony. And, um, you know, a little in some little incident happened where he might have to take a break and in, I get to control the stable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, time, I know I had horses before I get my trainer license. I had a friend with a horse named Kayla Felicia. He bought it for $2 million. Mm. And said, so, must not do a thing I can do with it. And I said, all right, I'm a school friend. We could try. And I got, like 2010, I bought that horse. 2011, I got my license. So, you know, I, my first horse that I raced her, I race her the first time that I got my license. She finished fourth, mm -hmm. Kayla Felicia. And, then um, my first winner came in the house by the name of Richie Happy no Motion. Richie Happy Motion. Mm -hmm. Who was the jockey? And, and Shane Ellis. Shane Ellis won the first seven races for me. Okay. What was that feeling like winning oh, your first race? Whoa, well, great. Trust me, great because that has when I raced him the first time, he didn't hit the board. He finished seventh. Mm -hmm. And then um, I work him. I did. I work with him one morning, and he, he works excellent. But he came back and bleed, bleed to. You know, so you never, never have LASIKs on him in the morning, so right. uh, put on the LASIKs on him, and trust me, take yeah, off. Friend. Yeah, man, take off, man. Who were some of the other trainers that graduated in your match? Oh, uh, Stephen Todd, Lorenzo Robinson, um, um, Boris McIntosh, Sweetie Man, that's... Um, Markland. Markland, yeah, that group. Mm -hmm. How has the journey been so far, Lauren, from 2011 to now? 12 years. No, oh, the first so five, six years was good for me. I mm -hmm. can't complain. First five, six years. But from then on, it's been down. You know, I'm my owner, my top owner, mm -hmm. that's Jigsy Blade. He, he got, you know, things kind of got kind of a little bit on the tough side for him. So he had, to, he had a lot of horses on the farm, and the bill on the farm wasn't easy. And you know, mm -hmm. the horses started, you know, develop problems. and. Cash flow, I think, got the better mm -hmm. of that that journey with me and Jigsy Blade. And I'm sure that COVID mm -hmm. was kind of... Oh, oh Lord, COVID is a, next, is a case by itself. Cause when I contracted COVID, um, <laughs> come like people scarred me. People 
I take out themselves and they see them to me I come around. It was, a, it, was a, it was a terrible feeling, man. Terrible mm -hmm. feeling, the COVID thing. Mm -hmm. You know, them come at the stable, them lock down the stable, them spray down the place. So that, 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 that was a different, different thing, the COVID thing. But, but, but that, that's life, eh? Ups and downs. Mm, ups and downs. But it, 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 I, I'm, 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 and I know I can, I can, I, I know I can do a lot better. Than, than what's going on now. I just want the chance. I just want the horses to, to, you know, to get the job done. What is a barn like now? No, in terms of the numbers and the number numbers, of numbers, numbers, numbers slow. The numbers low, 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 low. low. It was two, two mm -hmm. chairs filling right now. But um, I've been talking to some overseas investors and they're they're, they're willing to to come on board. So I'm I'm hoping for that. And I'm sure that having that winner, on Blizzard Star. We we'll go far away. We we'll go far away. We we'll go yeah, far away. To advertise you. Right, right. And she, she has, she has a lot more in her tank. I can tell you that. She has a lot more in her tank because I saw one morning I saw her exercise and the way she carried herself. I know she's not a normal filly. She's a very good filly. She horses don't go one minute and one fifth. The way she she did it that morning, pulling up in one fifteen. Mm -hmm. So that I was confident in her to win, win her first race, but as I said, she had her, had her issues and I got it sorted out and sky's the limit for her now. About how many winners you would have gone since 2011, trainer? Mm, in the 80s. In the, in the 80s. 80s, in the mm -hmm. 80s, yeah, man, in the 80s. Uh, my best ass, I think I train is the, rich, the same one I won the first race with. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I got Miss America by Richie, but he was he developed um, oscillate, so that's giant, going giant. So mm -hmm. it was bothering him. So he wasn't that. Was the top of the game. Right, right. But mm -hmm. Richie, happened, he, Richie happy notion that horse. I, when the first race with him, I came to the top. I won six races with him, mm -hmm. and he was, he was something else. He Genuine. Was, yeah, man, he could, can move, man, can mm -hmm. move. But he developed colic, mm -hmm. and that was the end of him. But he was a, a top to us horse. So you have, you, have, you have hopes of these two, three roles that you have now, and there, there, there is ongoing discussion in terms of um, investors coming on board. What is Lauren's immediate future looking like? Right now, um, I've been going to the past year from a contracted COVID. We're going to two years now. I, I, my body is not the same. Mm -hmm. I've been feeling, you know, pain here and there. I've been doing some tests and see what's going on. And, you know, take, I just want to take care of me first right. and then move on. Mm -hmm. But as I say, if I get the horses, I, can, I know I can do the job. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. know I can get the job done. Since you've been here, um, Lauren, and not necessarily as a trainer because you've been around for a while, you know, from early 80s, who's the best horse you have seen race here? Oh, the best heart. I would say Eros. I would say Eros. Mm -hmm. Eros went from five to ten or anywhere you put Eros. And just Nine, murder five, you with peas. Mm -hmm. yeah, what about Jackie? Well, my favorite Jackie was Emilio Rodriguez. I like it. I like his aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and Trina? Oh Trina. Trina. Uh, a lot of trainers. Good trainers. I wanna say I I put everybody across the board. Mm -hmm. Trainers just need horses, you know. When you have one trainer of the, the top horses, you know, look the best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, right now, Jason of the horses, everybody say him are the best. But give, give trainers good horses, you will, you will get the best out of them. The best out of them. Talking about trainers, what role or how great a role your father played in your own development as well as um, Tony? Tony. Oh, a lot, man. A lot. Mm, father was a genius, man. The man there, have some old remedy in them, some some from the old school, yeah, old days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, some some cripple. Them and them. see, my father when I race the horse one time, never get a get up on the track. Mm -hmm. Just on the sea to the track, sea to the track. Just chat on the sea sand, and come on the race and win the first two races. And and Tony, what was special about Tony? Tony, Tony, do things with horses like a vet. He had some remedies, some things to mix due to the horses. Very unbelievable. Just and I'm sure you would have got some of that for, at least from his father. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Daddy showed Tony a lot, man. Showed Tony a lot, and me a lot. But mm -hmm. me, me, I mean, me not reach a level there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
me are the physical type of trainer. Me no forget a horse fit. Show me the football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't forget our ass fit, you know. But mm -hmm. the, the, the them medical part, them old remedy thing, them right. me, me, me know a lot of them, but mm -hmm. not. Trainer, are there good. persons that you would like to give a special shout out to? Persons who have contributed to you, and um, probably persons that work with you on your journey. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, um, I have my, 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 my loyal soldier, Maurice Hart, Greensy, I'm calling him Greensy. He no left my side. He has been with me right through, thick and thin. So, Greensy, uh, well, Virgin Jigsy Bates here, me. You know, him give me the start, the push. Uh, well, Miss Hamilton. You know? And that's how I met him. How I The racing thing is a very, is a college. Trust me, down here is a college. You have to, you know. No for deal with people, because you have a lot of enemies. Mm -hmm. People just fight against you for nothing at all. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to lie low and deal with the thing. People see a win race and just don't know how you are win race, but that's what you call it. Bad mind for what you do and what you achieve. I suppose that, it, that is That it. is life, eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, anyway. What does Lawn Curl do when you are not involved in your day-to-day -day operation? Oh, I support uh, the uh, American race. You know. Watch me look at American race. Play me look at Domino now and then. I love my Domino and American race. You know, you learn, you learn how to train even better. When you take up a book, American book, and see how to train a program, them, set mm -hmm. out them program, yeah, you can learn mm -hmm. from that. Okay. Yeah, man. Having said, said all of that, you are sounding like a hopeful person for the immediate future. As soon as I get over my health issues, I'm planning to you know, get some get some real investors on board and um, see what can come 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 out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you you would like that to happen anytime now because yeah. based on what you're saying, the health issues kind of come <coughs> together. So to um, the horse is coming together. So if you get the chance now, you probably would be where you want to be? Oh, 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 yes, man. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Um, day by day, you know, um, some some days are good health wise. Some days, some morning I get the work, uh, not feeling all that great. But I'm coming to work, and I'm mm -hmm. focused right now. I'm focused to 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 to, to get myself back together again. Well, Trino, I want to thank you and wish you all the best, both health wise and on the track, because you know that's the only way to success. So we wish you all the best and thanks for sharing your time with us. Oh man, anytime man. Thanks guys. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallop.com, YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for more enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.